Ain't nobody worried about Pedro, dog. My little brother already checked the sleeves off. Putting us in his damn videos, flexing his weak ass priority. So my little brother pressed him, said, stop putting me in your videos. Then you go on his page and see, the next time he went to the bread company, that motherfucker was doing a selfie video. He wasn't putting us in it. He was talking about us, though. He's so goddamn thirsty for content. Ain't even a real gig worker. Post your motherfucking earnings, Pedro, with your stats. Weak-ass stats, boy. Please go motherfucking live. Please. One of these weeks, I'm going to take a week off because I'm getting tired. And all I'm going to do is wait for this motherfucker to go live. You want to collab, baby? We going to collab. Oh, we going to collab. I bet you a bitch. Mr. Bet on you. I see the bitch in you. Bro, I have my baby sister, a woman, dog walk you. I promise. Soft ass. Pedro, I don't need you. I make good content, original content. You want to do a collab? We're going to do a collab live in St. Louis. Go live, Pedro. I'm going to pull up wherever the fuck you at. You ain't going to laugh in my face. I promise you. I promise you, Pedro, you will never laugh in my motherfucking face and think you're going to slide with that. 15 minutes of fame. You a motherfucking has been. I'm gonna turn you into paid to drive 2024. Hot facts, people. Pedro is being pressed and he is being pressed like he has never been pressed. You hear the language. He says, whenever you go live, I am going to pull up. Said he's gonna take a break for a week so he can see when you go live. Will you go live? He also said his little brother already checked you about putting him in the videos and you have not. Pedro, you are being for real G checked in your own city. Now, this is not Eli Mellis. Now, we see here you are up here uh, on Hot Facts. You're up there with me on my channel. You decided to click on in when you got mad that Eli said something about you. So you're up there and you tried to sound all nice and peaceful, but you sent a direct message saying that you were going to fly thousands of miles to go see him, to go check him off of the things he is saying about you. Well, sir, you are going into another realm of what you normally do with someone inside of your own zone. Will you handle the pressure? Will you face the facts? Will you go and collab? He says he'll do a collab. He wants to do a real life collab, not one when you take his content. And you're telling him 15 minutes of fame. And I was like, oh my goodness, Pedro, you're doing it. But we all know that you like to suck the energy from brand new people to put it right back into you to make you still stay relevant in the spotlight. But this gentleman over here, no bumper TV is the zone. GDA, the grimiest dasher alive. The gig machine says he is not going for any of that. We have to figure out what it is that you are going to do. We don't know. But just take a look at this, Pedro. You get up there, you see that collab with no bumper TV to laugh at the guy you're in his area. You got people thinking that you are the main source of whatever glitch and priority. You got all that going on, but man, you're taking it all from this dude right here. Give him some credit. Give him some props. You are in the same city, in the same zone, Pedro. Say it ain't so, Pedro. But guess what? This gentleman is not playing with you, Pedro. He is not playing with you. Look at this one, Pedro. Man, he's talking about that priority. You're up here talking about the $500. Oh, he's gonna get exposed, Pedro. Ooh, wee, you must want enemies right next door. That is a bad move. But this gentleman, like I said, Pedro, he's going at your grill. This is the big K of battle rap to the gig world. This is my fresh breath, my fresh breath of, of, of fresh air. This is all fresh. This guy is like this, people. Watch this. A fight in your life, this bitch bugging. Mick Lovin ain't never flipped a clip, nothing. First time you shot a gun, you probably went outside with your big cousin. First time I shot a gun, I closed my eyes and hit something. Oh! And then after your teeth crack, I grab him by the throat while I'm asking for feedback. Bring me all the smoke like Bob Marley trapped in a weed patch. Dome shot. Now you and party already having a rematch. Oh! Oh! 
Now, that is the aggression that I'm talking about. I so love how he is here. I get a chance to throw in the hip hop realm, throw in the beef and battle tactics that goes in. Can Pedro put up with this all out in your face approach? He's told Pedro that if we were in jail, you would be holding my pocket. The things you say don't fly. Pedro was getting pressed up. Can Pedro still go to the same areas and even pick up orders now that he knows that it's been put out there on Front Street, that he's been checked by the gig machines? Little brother, the YouTube streets people are getting real in the St. Louis streets, people. They're getting real. People are getting checked in public for running their mouths. Did it go too far? Did it go too far? I don't know, but Pedro seems to always start something. Always he seems to start something. Will he stop? I hope not because I am loving it. I'm glad that somebody else is getting it in on him and it's not just me, but this is entertainment. But the best thing is he's in Pedro's market. All the lies he tells, this guy is really bringing it out and showing you everything, where Pedro goes, how it really works. He's calling Pedro a real fraud. This is nice, people. Now listen to this, what he has to say last night. Trash. I really want to see this. I want to see this glitch. The funny thing is, I'm the glitch. Got all these dudes, all these subscribers, all this clout, and they won't come on my page and take my content. Yo, Pedro, we in the same fucking city, dog. You could have came and talked to me. I'm about to be in Princeton Heights. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? Weird ass motherfucker. I don't want to sound mad, goddamn blitz. I've had priority for fucking four months. Four fucking months. Just running it up. Ain't nobody exposed me. I put my shit on YouTube. I don't even know what the fuck the word exposed means. I exposed it. Motherfucker's so thirsty for some likes and some views. Fuck out of here, dog. I'm really South St. Louis. I'm really 55 and fucking law girl. The weather started getting tough. The tiny ship was tossed. Man, people, it's like Gilligan's Island over here. In the words of Milk74, he's a Gilligan. Now, will we see anything happen? Uh, first of all, first question is, is Pedro going to go live to show his location? Uh, secondly, uh, Gig Machine asked me for a list of the people that Pedro beefs with. Um, so I'm going to include Eli Mellis in that one. So there's one for you there. He beats with him. That's the guy that he says he'll fly out for. Will Pedro do any of this, people? Will he step up? Will he have a reply retaliation in a video on this Sunday tonight? Tonight, will he have something to say about this gentleman? Everyone tune in to Pedro DoorDash Santiago tonight. Let's advertise this live stream. Let's see what really goes on. One thing we all know is we do know what is going on. Watch the show tonight and let's all hear for that reply and that message sent back to the gig machine. If you want to know more about what happens in the gig world, people do what the next clip says.